Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time, I know. So I'm out here at Gandhi. I'm gonna try to do some sheep's head fishing. It's been a while. For those who follow me from the beginning, you guys know I love sheep's head fishing. It's my favorite type of fishing. So we're gonna give it a shot. It is windy, but um, that's okay. We're, we're, we're gonna try anyways. All right, guys, let me show you what I have. There goes my mud crabs. I have maybe two dozen actually. But yeah, that's that's what we're gonna use today, this morning. So um, again, I'm at Gandhi. It's Friday. My wife picked up a job over here close to the area, so I took advantage, dug up some mud crabs, and I'm uh, getting ready to do some sheep's head fishing. Hopefully, we'll catch something. The only bad thing of fishing this area here is that you get hung up a lot. So I'm I'm gonna hope we don't. But if we do, then we're gonna change location because it is windy out here. Man, it's very windy. Ooh. First bait, I'm using a number two um, octopus hook. 20 pound mono for my uh, leader. And I'm using, I believe this is a 15 pound braid. Okay, first cast. This is gonna be really hard because you really gotta feel these, these sheep's head bite. And with this wind, it, it's gonna be difficult. We might have to go to the other side. Oh, got hung up already. See, told you. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, all I lost was a split shot, so I went back and uh, went back to the car and got me another one. This tide is moving. It's a strong outgoing tide. That's why I got stuck right away. All right, let's check out this area. Let's get by the crab. Try. Cast number two. I got hung up twice, broke off, so I'm not even gonna bother anymore. Let's go on the other side. It's a lot calmer. And um, hopefully find a spot. I'm actually gonna drive out to Weeding Island, which is not too far, maybe about two miles from here. Okay, I'm in stop number two. So much calmer over here. The water's not rough, the wind is okay. Um, let's see any fish down here. Okay guys, getting ready to drop this down. Keeping it close to the piling. Drag is okay. Now we wait. If nothing here, I'm going to keep just bouncing along until we find them. Let's get a little bit closer to the car line. Got a bite, guys. Got a bite. Yep. It's a sheep's head, baby. Check it out. First sheep's head of the year. All right. It's a little guy, but it's a sheep's head. Check them out, guys. First sheep's head. Like I said, these cold fronts, past three days, it's been in the low 50s. So I was like, you know what? 
my wife has to come to work i'm gonna dig up some mud crabs and i'm gonna find some sheep's head got the first one okay okay i have another crab on same thing right beside the piling right here man he took he took that bait quick There's one that's usually a lot more. These sheeps are usually school up together. Ooh, I had a bite. I didn't let him eat. Yeah, the past few weeks, man, past couple weeks has been really bad for Tampa Bay area. Um, everyone else along, got them. Look, got them. Check it out, guys. Got them. Let's see. Is this a redfish? <laughs> I got me my redfish. Another redfish. Small guy. He's really small. All right, guys, got the little, little redfish. Just let him go. Beautiful little fish. I'm gonna send out another crab. Two for two. Two baits. Got a sheep's head and a redfish. Awesome. Like I said, on these cold fronts, you just got to bounce around these bridges and fish along the pilings. And below... Oh, man. I got hung up. Oh, there I go. I'm out. And uh, believe me, you'll find the sheep's head. Just had another bite. I think he took it. Let's see. Nope, I still have it. Come on, where's the big one at? Oh, something got it. No, there they go. Oh, got him. Another sheep's head. Small guy. I thought something was on it. Ooh. Okay. Easy release. <laughs> All right, let's get another crab. That's three for three, guys. Okay, put my fourth bait down. I just got a hit, and I think he took it. Nope, I still got him. What I'm doing, I'm pinching it underneath this pair. Come on, give me a big one. Give me that keeper size. Oh, got a bite. Getting a bite. Getting a bite. It's small. Oh, he took it. I felt him when he grabbed it. All right, that's okay. I'm having a good time. I'm happy I found this spot. Let's get another crab.
we found them. I'm just waiting on the bigger ones. Who got a bite? Come on. Come on, take it. with these sheeps uh, even though that they bite pretty small like small little bites it could still end up being a, a freaking 18 incher what he's doing he's just biting around the crab and um he probably sees the hook he's trying to trying to stay away from the hook i think he took it let's see Nope, he didn't. Let's try right here, right in front of this pylon right here. Oh no! He broke me off. He got me too close to the pylon. There's a pylon, I'm fishing a pylon right here in front of me. And he grabbed it and took off around that pylon. Look, he snapped me off. I gotta start all over. Oh man, good fish. All right, guys, I was using 15 pound. I'm using 20 pound now. Man, once those fish get you along that, those pilings, it's a wrap, especially if you if you was using 15 pound like I was. Let me show you the hooks I'm using. This is your number one Gamagatsu octopus hook. But I'm using this number two. But you know what? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna use another number one now because that was a big fish. I mean, it was a big redfish. All right, let's go ahead and set this up and uh, start fishing again. Okay, guys, I'm back at it. I got a, like I said, a size one octopus hook now. Let's get a crab. Let go. Crab on. There you go. Let's start fishing. Man, that was a big fish. Not sure if it was a really big um, sheep's head or a nice sized redfish. I'm getting a bite now. See a small bite. Got him. Small sheep's head. This guy's really small. There you go, guys. Storm back. Okay, just dropped another crab. And I already got a bite. It's a lot of small ones, but now I'm aiming for that big one. If I catch him, hopefully he still has my hook. These hooks are not cheap. There he goes. Got him. Got him, guys. Oh, he's another good one. No, 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 no. See, he's going for the pylon. Oh, this is a keeper sheep's head. You see him? He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Well, I hope so. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's going to be real close. This guy was not the one that broke me off. I don't think he's 12, but let's, let's give it a shot. Oh, 
Oh man, he is. He's right on 12 on the dot. Check out. He's 12 on the dot. But I'm not gonna keep him. If you guys follow me, you guys know I usually don't keep any 12 inches. I like to keep them like 15 and better. More meat. Because once you fillet these fish, you gotta understand, they're all head. Once you fillet these little 12 inch fish, you don't get a lot of meat. So, yeah, let's let them go. Your lucky day, buddy. So far, I've used six mud crabs, and out of the six, I've caught five fish. Come on, where's that big one at? Ooh, got a bite. Got a bite. Come on. Got him. Oh. This guy's fighting good. Look, 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 look. Look, look how much my rod is bending. Look at that. This guy's a keeper. Oh my gosh, yes. This guy's definitely a keeper. Oh my goodness. I gotta land this guy. Please, I gotta land this guy. Oh. I either gotta try it or I gotta walk down to the beach area. But this, oh my gosh, I gotta walk. He's too heavy, I can't bring him up. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, first decent keeper sheeps of the year for me. Yes. I gotta walk down there, go get him. All right, walking down this bridge. I don't wanna slip and bust my ass here. Yeah. You know what? I could just fish from right here. Except fishing way up on top. Oh, come on. Not now. What's going on here? Yeah. Definitely a keeper. Ugh. He's coming home. Catch and cook, baby. Catch and cook. Catch and cook, baby. <clears throat> Man, he's all tangled up. Well, there he goes. Oh my God, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ooh. Definitely a keeper, guys. Check that monster out. Check that guy out. Oh my gosh. Let's take a quick measurement. All right, let's take a quick measurement. This guy's about 15, 16. Let's see. He's 18. Yep, okay. Up. To the tip of the tail 18 inches and i'm not even pinching his tail i told you when those cold fronts roll in go get some crabs go get some mud crabs because you will find the sheep's head let's bleed this guy real quick and um let's do it again all right i'm bleeding him out so while he's doing that let's grab another crab I told you there's some big boys here. Oh man. Let's do it again. Let's, let's go. Let's do it again. Yeah, he was he was aiming for the pilings real bad. As soon as he knew he was hooked, he was going right to the piling. 18 inch sheep's head. Oh man, I love it. 
Got him. Oh man, this sheep's head bite is on fire. Another sheepy. And he's a keeper too, but do I want him? He's about 12, 13. Now, I'm throwing back. He's about 12 inch actually. Just throwing back. Guys, I'm telling you, the sheep's head bite is on fire right now. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Got a bite. Yeah, I found the school. I still wish I, I would have seen that. Uh, I could have seen that first one that broke me off. He felt really heavy. Got him. Got him. There he goes. Another small one. This one's real small. He's about nine, ten. Yeah, he's about nine, ten. Another small sheep tail. Really small guy. Don't worry, guy. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, guys. I don't know. I think that's like number eight. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, that's my. That's number eight already. Okay, what I did, I just crossed the street. I'm on the other side of the bridge. Now the wind is towards my back. So hopefully the bite picks up on this side. Got one. Come on. It's a nice, another nice one. Oh yeah. He's a keeper. He's about 14. Man, but he's too heavy to pick up. Look at that rod bent. Oh my gosh, let's see. Let's see. Ugh. Got him. Yes, sir. All I did was cross the street. Got him on this side. Yes, sir. He's coming home. Swallow the hook. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to put a new hook on. Say quick measurement. He's about 13, 14. Let's see. Yep, 14. Almost 15 if I pinch the tail. Yep, actually 15. Channel guys. 15 inches to the tip of the tail. Nice, she's coming home. Oh man, this one's good. Oh my god, this one is good. No, he's rubbing on the piling. Oh, I got him out of the piling. I got him out. I got him out. Oh yeah. He's another 15, 16. Holy shoot, this guy's fighting. You see him, guys? Oh, I'm not sure if you can see him. Yeah, he's a big one. I might have to walk him up. I might have to walk him. Oh my gosh, my arms. Yeah, he's a good one. Come on, come on. Yeah, got him. Got him. Now I gotta walk down there and, and uh, go get him. Woo! Good fight. 
good fight. All right, let's get down there. Let's see. Whew. Oh man, I pulled a muscle. Man, that hurt. Man, you know what? I think I, I think I'm just gonna fish down here. This is gonna be slippery, so I gotta be careful. Whoa! See? Whew. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at that! Look at this guy! Another 15, 16 incher, maybe bigger. Whoo! Good fight. Alright. Now let's go back up without me busting my butt. Ugh. Okay. Good. Alright guys, let's take a quick measurement. And this guy, he is going to be... Holy cow, another 17, 17 inches. Look, 17 incher. He's probably 17 and a half. I have 17 and a quarter if I pinch the tail. Look at this. Three keepers. I could have cut two more, but they were 12 inches. Um, I don't like keeping them that small. But yeah, having a great day so far. Great morning. Let's bleed this guy out. Okay, got another crab down. Man, I'm having an epic day of sheep's head fishing. I'm loving it. I love these cold fronts. I wanted to come out. Well, today's Friday. Cold front started Wednesday night. So it was Wednesday night, Thursday night, and today. After today, I think it's supposed to hit. Uh, back in the uh, low 80s I live in the Lutz Land of Lakes area so when I got up when I woke up this morning it was 50 degrees uh, one day 52 degrees the next day this morning was 56 degrees and um, I'm like, it's, it's time to go fish hit two birds with one stone because my wife had a, a job to do today so I dropped her off again went um, Dug up some mud crabs and you guys see the results. Having a good day. Got another one. Got another one. He's a keeper. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. Shoot. I don't want to climb back down there. Swing him up. Yeah, baby. Oh no. Epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. Whoo! He's about 15. He's going home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's try this out. Yep, he's 15, he's almost 15 and a half. Let's see, actually, hold on that. Right on the lip right there, going across, yeah. Check out guys, 15 and a half, he's coming home. I told you, 15 and bigger, they're going home. Get in the bite, get in the bite, come on, take it. Take it. Good hit. Take it, take it. Oh, took it out of his mouth. Took it right out of his mouth. I see like like mullet right there. 
Yeah, that's mullet. I don't know if you guys can see them. I see them. Whole big old school of them. Oh, there goes a bite. There goes a bite. I think these are... Got you. Oh, yeah. He's pulling. Whoa, he's pulling. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Another tank. Another tank. I got to go down for this one. Show them out. That's a tank. Ugh, I got to go back down. I know I can't swing this guy up. Oh, my gosh. That's like another 17, 18 incher. You got to be kidding me. got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Today is the day. Let's get back down there. Today is the day. Guys, the only reason why I'm not fishing down here, one, I don't want the sheep set to see me so close. They'll spook, they'll spook off. You know, they'll get scared and just swim off. Two, the current is moving. So if I'm standing right here and I'm casting right there in front of that piling, the current, the tide is gonna wrap my line up on that piling. So it's it's uh it, it's not gonna happen. It's, it's gonna it's just gonna break me off. So I might as well just fish on top and if I don't catch something big, I'll just walk back down. No biggie. Just make sure I don't slip and bust my ass. That's it. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's another tank. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get him off the hook. Oh man, don't tell me I, I left my pliers on. <laughs> I left my pliers up there. Hold on guys. We'll check it out though. Check that out. Nice. Okay guys. There you go. And he measured about 16 and a half. 16 and a half. Got a good bite. He's messing with it. There he goes. Just a little tap tap. Oh, he took it. Yep, he took it. Guys, sometimes when you feel that small little tap, you you might think it's a small little sheep's head or pinfish. But man, I'll tell you what, you'll be so surprised. Because these big sheep's head, that's what they do. They just tap, tap. Unless they're like really hungry, they'll swallow the whole crab real quick. But um, the ones I've caught were just small little taps and ended up being some good quality sheep's, sheep's head. Ooh, got him. Oh! Oh my God. That one had my rod bent. That was a big fish. Again. Oh my goodness. That was my 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 fault. I had my drag set too tight. That was too tight. That was a big fish. Let's see if he comes back for another one. That was a good fish. had another good bite did he take it damn he took it Ugh. i'm putting on some small little crabs now 
because I want them to actually just inhale them. Inhale the whole crab, not just pick at it. A little small one. I tell you what, honestly, I've missed, I missed a, a couple of big ones. And what's going on is the tide actually turned. It's, it's an incoming tide now. So I don't know if I should go back to the other side. But if I do that, I have the wind in my face. I think I'm gonna stay here. Just for uh my wife should be texting me pretty soon, so and I think I'm down to my last man. I thought I had about a dozen, dozen and a half of um uh, mud crabs, but man, I think I had like three dozen. Cause I still have a lot of crabs. little setup nice little setup sea tow to the rescue small little flash boat is in front of me right in front of my face so if you guys don't hear me i'm sorry i do apologize but i'm hoping that uh i'll catch a couple more nice size ones before i leave because i am going to give a few to my parents you're allowed eight sheep's head i believe i have six so far plus the other two i let go would have been my eight Plus, I lost, I lost a couple of big ones. Man, this one is bad. This one is getting stronger and stronger. I just had a good bite too. Come on, come on. Oh, he took it? He took it. I knew that was a good bite. I knew it. Now I have about a dozen of these mud crabs left. Ugh, that guy was a soft shell. Here comes Cito again. Got a bite. Come on, that'll be a big one. He took it? He took it. Oh, come on. Okay, everyone, I'm done fishing. My wife texts me. She's like, where you at? I'm waiting on you. 
I told her I was on my way, but come on guys, you know how it is. When the bite is hot, you don't want to go nowhere. You don't want to leave. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm running a little late, so she's a little upset with me now. But anyways, I had a great time. I'm so happy that I decided to come out here on this cold front. Guys, if I wanted to, I could have limited out. I caught a total of eight sheep's head, but I only caught, I only kept six. Um, the other two I threw back was a, a 12 inch and a 13 inch. I threw them back. I don't like keeping them too small. You don't get a lot of meat out of them. But yeah, I've, I'm, oh my goodness. What a day. I love it. Um, I caught, my biggest one was an 18 inch, then 17, then 16, another 16, and a couple of 15s. So yeah, six of them are going home. I am gonna give my parents a couple of them because they, they love eating sheep's head also. So I'm happy they, they're gonna have some fish tonight. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please shoot me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe, guys. Um, I got nothing else to say but tight lines, and I'll see you on the next one. Fish those cold fronts. Bye.